Okay then, let's go on in. Uh, so this board I'm setting up just as a very simple uh, dimmer, um, LED dimmer, uh, it takes in 16.8 volts, it puts out 16.8 volts but a 10% duty cycle, um, seems to work fine, these have been on for a few hours, and they're not even getting warm, they're getting very cold, instead of leaving they're staying in droves! Yeah. <coughs> okay. So, got my bits. I have the MOSFET. I have the microcontroller. I have the 3.3 volt out up to 20 volt in voltage regulator very important the the battery voltage goes up to 16.8 volts and it fries the cheap ones so i have to buy the expensive one unfortunately a 10 microfarad capacitor a one microfarad capacitor a 100 nano farad capacitor for the uh, decoupling right next to the chip 100 ohm resistor for the uh, gate drive um, I need to actually check that on the oscilloscope when it's all working. Uh, fuse. That is all. So I'm just going to smear loads of this paste on <coughs> underneath the drain and heat sink. Uh, and a little bit for the gate drive resistor and I'm just going to smear this along try not to put too much on uh, it usually ends up that I have to uh, oops <coughs> clean my nozzle it usually ends up that I have to just get the soldering iron onto it and just sort of uh, dab off a few bridges between between the pins um what else i'm not bothering with the crystal on this not really needed uh it's the the pwm signal is like 20 kilohertz and it just you know the crystal is actually overkill uh, and the voltage regulator I could get away with a much smaller one but i couldn't find one that was um in a smaller package but took the, the higher voltage uh, yeah. it's working now so and actually because the microcontroller was so cheap just because the rest of the stuff well you know it all adds up to not a huge cost per board i think the total cost per board here is under a quid and uh, it does the job really well so there we are then. There we are then. Okay, MOSFET. Uh, microcontroller with a little hangabout. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's just make sure that this is right. Just even all the pins get a little bit. Yeah, looks okay, looks okay. Okay. Oh, that wasn't massively successful. Oh, there we go. I hope you're not just getting pictures of the back of my head here. Oh, the voltage regulator, 10 microfarad, I mean, I think those these values are probably a bit over the top, but hey, uh, fuse, uh, 
Okay, try to resist it. And 0805. And there we go. Oops. Uh, ah, it's quite hot because I can't be asked to mess about. Do not have my glasses nearby. Hello there. I'm just going to um, generally heat the board up and try and not blow things around. Oh, I could turn, could turn the speed down very slightly. Last time I did that, uh, this is the second one of these I've done tonight, and. Uh, I was blowing the bits around slightly. There's various things that aren't populated on this board. Um, that's just a bypass resistor uh, for the power supply. Um, this is all the stuff to do with the crystal. Uh, these are like uh, various things to do with the op amp. I can, um, can set it up so it, uh, with an op amp, I can set it up to put out an LED. It's quite a, um, it's like a versatile breakout board, but it, at the moment it's. Come on. Oh, there we go. At the moment, I'm just using it for this uh, LED dimmer. Cabin in the woods LED dimmer. Oh, I might need to go back on, on that. And... Go on. Yeah, I will have to go back over that, definitely. Oh, wee, there we go. There we go, come on. Get on. Oh, there we go. Just want to see the film all the way around that. Great. We'll have to go back in on the microcontroller a bit. Apart from that. Yay. I just upgraded my... Um, upgraded my uh hang on wait my hot air it's much nicer this one it was like 30 something quid rather than the uh 15 quid one that I had before 